Dear the students of class 4, I would like to welcome all of you in home schooling program organized by National Ideal English Version School with my Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amiruddin, Assistant Teachers of Mathematics Day Shift. I hope all you are well by the grace of Allah. I am also fine. Now, the students, let us start our today's class. Our today's topic problems related to four basic operation. In this class, we will solve one CBQ from chapter 5. Now, let us start. At first, I am reading the question. You listen the question carefully. The price of four hands and three dogs together is TK639. Price of a dog is TK85. A number question. What is the price of three ducks? B number question. What is the price of one hen? And C number question. What is the price of five ducks and eight hens together? At first, we will solve A number question. What is the price of three ducks? Here, price of one duck is given, which is 80 TK85. Now, one duck's price is TK85, another duck's price is TK85, and another duck's price is TK85. So, total three ducks' price will be TK85 plus TK85 plus TK85. But you know that multiplication is the short process of addition. So, we can, if we multiply 85 by 3, then we can easily solve the problem. So, the price of one duck is TK85. Therefore, the price of three ducks is TK85 multiplication 3. Now, we will multiply 85 by 3. 5 threes are 15. From 15, we will write 5. And 10 plus digit will add with other 10 plus digit. Now, 3 8s are 24. 24 plus 1 is equal to 25. That means the price of three ducks is TK285. And answer is TK255. Now, we will solve B number question. What is the price of one hen? From A, we get price of three ducks is TK255. Now, here given that price of four hens and three ducks together is TK639. If we subtract price of three ducks from price of four hands and three dark, then we get price of four hands. That means we have to subtract 255 from 639. Now, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Now, we have to subtract 5 from 3, but it is not possible because 5 is greater than 3. So, we have to take 100 from 100 plus. Fine, we take 100 from 100 plus and it will come in 10 plus. After coming here, it will be 10 tens because 100 equal to 10 tens. Now, 10 tens plus 3 tens is equal to 13 tens. That means we have to subtract 5 from 13. Now, 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. Since we have already taken 100 from this place, so it's, we have to consider it is now 5. Now, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, price of four hand is 384 taka. But we have to find out the price of one hand. Price of four hands is 384 taka. Therefore, price of one hand is, we have to divide 34 by 4. 384 divided by 4. Now, we have to divide 30, 384 by 4. At first, in 38, how many times can give 4? 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16, 4 5s are 20, 4 6s are 24, 4 7s are 28, 4 8s are 32, 4 9s are 36, 4 10s are 40. 40 is greater than 38, so we cannot give 10 times. We have to give 9 times. If we give 9 times, then it will be 36. Now, we have to write 36 under 38. Now we have to subtract 36 from 38. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 and 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we have to take 4 in the right side of 2. Then it will be 24. 
In 24, how many times can give 4? 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12, 4 fours are 16, 4 six, 4 fives are 20, and 4 six are 24. So we have to give 4 six times. 4 six are 24, now we have to write 24 under 24. If we subtract 24 from 24, then it will be 0. That means that the price of one hand is 96 taka and answer is 96 taka. Now, the students, we will solve C number question. What is the price of 5 ducks and 8 hands together? At first, we have to find out the price of 5 ducks. Then we have to find out the price of 8 hands. Then we have to add price of 5 ducks and 8 hands. Then we have to get total price of 5 ducks and 8 hands. Here, given that, in question it is given that price of 1 duck is 85 taka. So, price of 1 duck is 85 taka. Price of 5 ducks is 5 times of 85. If we multiply, 5 fives are 25. From 25 we will write 5 carrying 2, 5 8s are 40, 40 plus 2 is equal to 42. That means price of 5 duck is 425 taka. Now, from B we get Price of one hand is 96 taka. Price of one hand is 96 taka. Therefore, price of eight hands is eight times of 96. That means 96 multiplication eight. Now, eight six are 48. From 48, we will write eight carrying four. Eight nines are 72. 72 plus four is equal to 76. That means price of 8 hands is 768 taka. Now, price of 5 ducks is 425 taka. Price of 8 hands is 768 taka. Now, we will add these two numbers. At, at first, 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. From 13, we will write 3 carrying 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. And 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. That means price of 5 ducks and 8 hands in together is 1193 taka. Now, the students, we have finished our today's class. I hope you have understood today's class. Practice more and more at home. Stay at home. Obey your parents' order. Thank you. Allah peace.